Hey, you guys. I hope and I pray all is well with you all. Miss oh. Ebony over there. Um, I am disgusted. No, I'm not. I'm, a, I'm upset a little bit that I cut my hair like three or four times. I don't remember. I know it's been at least three times. And I did it out of just agitation and, you know, just disgusted. Um, I hate, I, I really hate that I cut on my hair like that. I probably should have did the back, but, you know, I'm, I'm doing well. My hair is, is thriving. It's, it's in some braids or plaits or whatever you want to call it right now. Um, and this is where I am. So, and the length is different all around, so we can't say. I'm not even going to worry about that. Actually, this is probably about the same. So, um, but anyway, I wanted to do this video for those who are thinking about cutting their hair, starting over. I see some, uh, uh, only, you know, if you just disgust it with your hair. And you really want to grow your hair out because everybody don't want long hair to deal with that because it's it's a lot of work, you know, and I understand that. But for those who just thinking about it, I would say wait. I wouldn't cut it because my hair, I hate I cut it. You, I mean, this is all I have left of the, the colored hair. <laughs> you could just see the little tips. The little tips here and there. Like, my hair was dyed to the root. It was all blonde, honey blonde. And as you can see, I just have... Actually, I don't think any in the front here. Yeah, I have a little here in the front. So you can see my little tips. I really would love to color my hair again. But my husband don't like that. So I have to honor my husband, right? Um... So, I would like to color it again, honey blonde. Um, I would say don't cut. Let me let y'all see the back of my hair, too. This is show y'all the whole kitten caboodle, right? Because this is, you know, what it's all about. But I cut it. I've been cutting, 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 and more cutting on my hair. I would just recommend you guys not to do that if you're not sure. I would say, wait, I'm not talking for those who know you want to cut your hair and all of that. That's cool. But like me, the situation I was in, I had people tell me I shouldn't cut my hair. But I was just so disgusted looking at my hair in the back, in the crown. And that was my area where I had broke off so much. And then the front had thinned out from using products, okay? Yes. Everything is not for everybody's hair. Some scalps, like me, I can't put oil on my scalp. My scalp would just get bumps in it. It just would be irritated. I can use butters and all of that on my hair, but not the scalp, okay? But let me show y'all my hair in the back. I hope y'all can see. It has grown a lot. This was like really short, but it has some length on it now. So you can, Ebony says you can even grip my hair back there to put a twist. So and I got video, I got pictures. I'm gonna end up putting up a video probably a year later or two years, not even two years, but at least a year later after the cutting. And it's been. I guess it's been about three months, something like that, that I had been cutting my hair. But after I cut it, it did start growing more. No, don't get me wrong. But if you have an area like I had in the back, I would just cut that. I wouldn't cut all of my hair. Just 
I was just randomly clipping. You know, it's clip, clip, just whatever, cut. My hair was down here, you know, in a stretch state. You know, now it's like up here in the stretch stage. That's a big difference for me. I mean, my hair was hanging. I wish I knew how to put pictures on videos and stuff like that. I don't, now I'm looking at my, my videos and my pictures of my hair going through that and saw the length on it. I mean, I'm like, I didn't even have to cut my hair. I didn't have to cut it. Only the back. I would say the back needed to be trimmed because it was thinning. That back there, I just, you know, it's cut back there. Um, and then even the back back, you know. So what I learned, I cannot go to bed on my hair all in a fro with doing the curly girl. Because I got the gel on there, my hair dry. Even though I put all the conditioners and leave-ins and whatever. No, my hair don't like that. Yeah, my hair looked it nice, whatever. But it don't like it don't like being in that state. So what I should have been doing if I was if I ever do the curly girl again, I would just put it in ponytails. Moisturize it. Especially here, because this hair here is much tighter, kinkier here than the other parts of my hair. It curls a lot more in the back. It's a more looser curl, just a little bit here in the back and here is just like kink it ain't even that loose okay it's just looser than here okay that's all i'm saying and then the front here it's a little uh tighter than back here so i got a lot, whole lot of texture things going on but um i'm learning to baby up my hair and give it what it needs and especially back here i give it extra love and care and i am still using Elite Creations, I gotta order. I still have a whole bottle of the um, leave-in moisturizer leave-in. And the oil, uh, this is it. This is another empty. Um, and I don't have any shea butter. And I've just been using the leave-in as a leave-in with the water spritz. So, you yeah, guys, that's it. I got to make my order. My hair is growing, and this is all I use. I've been asked, what do you put on your hair? I've been asked that. So um, maybe if Elite would want a distributor, I would be a distributor. I don't know. It ain't like I sell products like that, but um, that would be something to think about. So anyway, Thousand Rose to you guys. I just really came on here to, to share with you guys if you're just thinking about cutting your hair I would just think about it if you're talking about because of what it's going through because I think our hair go through different transitionings and different issues sometimes and I know products products plays take that to Ebony give up, give up both of them products plays a very important role Everybody had on flows and can put anything in it and roll it on. My hair ain't like that. So I, I just got to do what I have to do for my hair. Yeah, I got to take care of the bag. I got all of it. I, no strands left behind is my motto, okay? All right, you guys. Even though I cut them off, I want to do that again. Thousand Roses, y'all. I will wait and then wait at least some months. At least give yourself three or four months before you actually cut. My hair was it's really in a place where I want to cut it all off. It was in that place. It's not there now. Um, I could wear it out, but I don't feel confidence enough because of the back. It's short. I don't know if you guys saw that. I think the back is maybe five or six inches now. Maybe it might be more than that because I haven't measured it. Um... And then the front was like 10. It might be 12 inches now. So, but then I've been cutting it, so I don't even know where it's at now. So, we'll see. I'll probably do a measurement one day soon. Thousand Roses, you guys, y'all be blessed. Please don't cut your hair if you're not sure you want to cut your hair. All right, y'all be blessed.